1984 Olympic gold medalist Tim Daggett. I'm Al Troutwig along with Elfie Schlegel and Andrea Joyce, who's patrolling the floor. What's your take on what they've done at this place called Woga with the top two spots belonging to their gym? Well, there's no denying what Valeri Lukin can do as an athlete back in the 80s and also as a coach now. I mean, he is a technician. And one of the reasons why Ivana Hong went there is she says that Woga is the best gym in the world. We begin try veteran Chelsea Memel, former world champion, a medalist with the U.S. team in Beijing, and still doing it at 21. Yeah, well, well, she's really struggled with whether or not she was going to continue, and she said that using this meet, it might give her a much better read on whether or not to continue. She's actually trying to find a little inspiration because she is a little bit lost. But you know, this routine is not about what she's going to score. What is so impressive about Ch Chelsea Memel is she's a competitor. I cannot tell you how impressed I am with what she threw in her beam routine in night one, and she is doing the same right now. But this is it for her, this one apparatus. That's it, you know. And really, the resume on Chelsea Memel, she has so many titles, world champion. But, you know, she might be the most unlucky that I've ever known. Right before the 2004 Olympic Games, she was looking great. She gets hurt. She doesn't make that trip. And then makes the 2018 10 days before the competition in Beijing, breaks a bone in her foot can only compete on one event. You know, it's a crazy world. It, it becomes captivating to be a star in gymnastics and you just don't want it to end. Dad is her coach. And that's all she will do is the balance beam. It's all she planned on doing. It's yeah. What? Is it going to be enough to make that decision? And now getting the uneven bars set is Bridget Sloan. She was part of the winning women's team in Beijing. Winning women's team in Beijing. You know, and I, I got a lot of respect for her because you, you ask these kids, you know, did you come down off of the Olympics? Did you ever, you know, think that... It wasn't for you anymore. She was she was dead honest. She said, you know, I lost my drive for a bit, but I'm getting it back. She did not have a very good night one. Has a big release coming up. Oh, very nicely done. She always takes that right to her fingertips. Bridget Stone was the only Olympian after the Beijing Olympics that continued to train, continued to compete. She has had no downtime. The other thing that we should mention is that what happens here in these visa championships will partially determine who represents the United States at the World Championships in London in October. And watch this here. This is new for her. She's going to put her feet on the bar and do a reverse heck. But what's so hard is she keeps her legs together. That means she can't see the bar until much later. Bridget said with those world championships coming up she is planning to continue training obviously in the all-around that's her goal she would like to be the all-around gymnast selected for those world championships which are coming up in October was that or was that not a stuck landing yeah yeah you know she much better than she did night one to be honest she almost didn't catch the bar night one 14.1 for Chelsea memo you see the 8-8 execution score. That means they took 1.2 off. The biggest difference from this year to last year when we were talking 
in China is the gymnasts only count the top eight score, eight, eight elements. They used to count 10, so that means that all the start values are going to be lower. Usually, Tim, you're bothering her. She's texting. <laughs> I know. Usually by about six tenths of a point. But I don't think that that could have gone any better for Chelsea Mammel. She really... It was a better score from night one, actually. She's not going to factor in the national championships. She's just looking for that inspiration to keep going at it. Just waiting for the judges and the tabulations to be complete. We'll be with you to 10 Eastern time. This is all live from Dallas, Texas, and Bridget Sloan gets a 14.9. That's a little bit better than she did day one when she recorded a 14.55. Now, there were two women who were alternates representing the United States in 08, and they watched from afar in Japan, waiting for the call that never came. They were the dreaded alternates, and this is the first. We'll see them consecutively here. Yana Beaker from Coconut Creek, Florida. And this event right here is the event that could have put her on the team, but she fell at the last two competitions on the selection camp and uncharacteristic falls, but... She told us that she was so upset. Oh, and there was a hesitation. Well, obviously not making the Olympic team was very rough on Yana. When she came home, she actually only took three days off and said, you know, there's just unfinished business for me. And that broken bone in Chelsea Memmel's foot was the possible ticket for her. And there's how she gets started. So as she transitions from the high bar to the low bar, the requirement pass, and she should keep her body moving. If you pause like that, those judges, they start scribbling on that pad. Now we get back-to-back -back Woga gymnasts. It was an easy commute from nearby Plano for both Ivana Hong and next to come Rebecca Bross. She's 16, and now you start projecting, okay, she'll be 19, and Nasty Lukin will be this, and that's how far away London is right now. You know, I, I had a chance just before the competition began to speak with Marta Caroli, the, the national team coordinator, and she actually was pretty pretty frank in saying that, you know, I, Ivana, she's, she's so timid. She just doesn't seem to believe in herself. Ivana there, of course, with her coach, Valeria Luke, and she said if she doesn't believe in herself, why should the judge and why should the selection committee? So that's something that this young lady really needs to get a handle on because she is a fabulous gymnast in a lot of ways, body line, knees, toes, aesthetics. She's on the same level as a Nastia Luke. Absolutely. She has the artistry combined with the acrobatics and that's the balance that judges are looking for in today's gymnastics now remember there is a national championship at stake here and after being an alternate on the olympic team you have to figure both yana beager and ivana hong could use a little prestige and yana beager gets a 14.5 and a 1.6 deduction in terms of execution so the judges saw a lot of mistakes We're live at the American Airlines Center, the home of the Dallas Mavericks and the Dallas Stars of the NHL. Tonight we will see is crowned national champion of the United States. We mentioned one of the reasons why Ivana went to WOGA was in her mind, not only were they the best gym club in the country, but she went as far to say they're the best in the world. And Valeri is a great coach for her. She said she likes the technical component that he adds to her gymnastics. Just watch her legs, her toes. Perfect, perfect form. The one place where she needs to improve the height on some of her releases, you'll see right here, that is probably as much as three-tenths of a point off. 
But what great form. She really has struggled on her dismount. It's a double layout. It is hard for her. And it's on night one. Better. Much, much better. And that score will go up. So that's a little bit of belief, I would say. That should make Marta Caroli shake her head in a different direction after a routine. <laughs> would that be up and down? A lot of hugging in gymnastics, Al. A lot of hugging. <laughs> a lot of smooching. All right. Now, Rebecca Bross, the leader after night one, which perhaps you saw on Universal Television. She's got a pretty good poker face. Yeah, she does. She's a tough. She's a tough one. And you got to remember that, you know, four years ago in 2005, a little girl came out of the junior ranks named Nastia Lukin, and she went on to win her first senior national all-around title. Obviously, she then became the Olympic champion. That's possible for this young one right here. She is a very different gymnast from Nastia, a little bit more like a Carly Patterson, but probably with even a little more power. And Marta describes her as being just super intense. Well, just imagine how many times she was in that gym and looked across the floor and saw Mastia going through her preparation for the Olympics and then watched on TV and saw this woman who across the floor was going through her preparation, getting the gold medal, which is the single greatest thing you can do in this sport. And actually, believe it or not, she was in the gym and training when Carly Patterson was preparing for her 2004 Olympic Games. Well, when we asked her about the legacy of Woga, and you remember what she said, Tim, she said, you know, I try not to think about it every day, but believe me, I do dream about it. And these then for that gym and for Valeri become live recruiting films. Ivana Hong a 14.6 on the uneven bars. Big number, big improvement from night one. Three events going on simultaneously. Balance beam, you hear the music of floor exercise. I'll tell you though, I love her style on bars. It is big, it's dynamic. It's quick. She'll do a skill in the middle of a routine where she just flies like crazy. Do a tricky combination here to a release that's nice too. Lots of amplitude, but where she really gets the height is on this right here. Watch this, Jaeger. Whoa! Oh, golly. You know, you go so darn big like she just did. Oh, goodness. And that is disastrous right there. Not only does it cost her a point in deductions now for one fall, but that one looked like it hurt a little bit, took a shot to the ribs. It, this, is, this is unreal. I think I saw her do this entire bar routine five times throughout the course of warm-ups, and they were perfect every time. And stuck distance like that every time. Well, this will be the big test of her young career on the biggest day of her young career to date. Maybe she should have only done four in warm-ups. <laughs> She'll need a little Nastia coaching right here. And there it goes. Yeah, she's not just a teammate, you know? She's, uh, she's been where she wants to go. And well, you, you know, you make that mistake and you, you just want to be left alone. <laughs> it's, this is that huge release. And when you go so big, sometimes you just have, because she had, she had her hand around the bar, but there's so much more force, more torque pulling you down when you go that high. And here, once again, she does this. 
this move excellent. Just a little too close to the bar. Your shoulders should not be in front of your hands on that skill. And they were. Really no way to save that. Well, now it's damage control for Rebecca Bross and Valerie Lucan. There's also a major door opening, perhaps, for a national championship now. You have to wonder what's going on in the mind of Ivana Hong and Bridget Sloan. This was a major unexpected change. Unbelievable. If you had told me that she was going to do that, I would have said, Al, I think you're wrong. Like I said, I saw her be perfect time after time in warm-ups. We stay with our live coverage here, and we go across the floor to Keetra Hunter, a name you might want to write down for the next few years. Why? Oh, because she's phenomenal. Uh, floor size vaulting. The whole thing is incredibly difficult. And she did something that people don't do. She was actually at what's called a junior competition, the Level 10 Nationals this year. But she's here now. Super powerful tumbling. She has leaps that she takes up to the ceiling. You know, I love the choice of music, the choreography, all very well balanced. Comes from a gym of fantastic athletes. Coach Kelly Hill, Dominique Dawes, one of the 1996 Olympic gold medalists, Elise Ray. So many great gymnasts have come from Hills Gymnastics. That was Kelly Hill, first to greet her off the floor. We can tell you that after a 15.05 in day one, Rebecca Bross gets a 13.35. And in women's gymnastics, there are only four events. It's really hard to overcome a start like that. But that's the kind of thing that champions are made of. We've just gotten started. The first rotation wrapping up. These are the 2009 Visa Championships on and that will mean that we will soon see the reigning Olympic gold medalist Nastia Lukin. This was supposed to be a great home game for her and Ivana Hong and Rebecca Bross. And sometimes the pressure of performing in front of friends and family is a little thing that you can't prepare for. Al Dagadelfi Schlegel again. One of the most important things that a coach can do for a team or a player is prepare for the adversity for it came from Nastia Lukin. And it worked out that she needed that sort of toughness. Yeah, it did. Actually, in 2007, there were a number of people throughout this country, even the world, that said, Nastia Lukin, her career is over. I was never one of those people. You weren't. I always thought that she had a great shot of winning that all-around title. I knew it was going to be between her and another great one, Sean Johnson. But what a tremendous athlete. And, you know, her coming back and looking in this shape, after all of the things that she's done, she has been all over the world, done just about every event under the sun, and she still looks fantastic. And one of the challenges that she's finding right now is how to really balance it all out because her life will not change. She will continue to have appearances and speaking engagements and whatever they throw at her. So right now she's made the commitment to stay with gymnastics, to fall through to 2012, but she's trying to find out that perfect balance of still being the greatest athlete. 
if you were with us on night one in our coverage on Universal Sports Television, you saw one of the great pictures that had a, a zillion words behind it. You talk about role models and inspiration. Watch these little girls, especially the one on the right, as Nastia mounts the balance beam. <laughs> Are you kidding me, she says? <laughs> oh, my gosh. So very, very cool. And front row seats. I mean, with the bars in the way, but... And this woman that they're watching is from Texas. She's one of them. They have to think yeah, that this is possible. So Nasty is getting set on the balance beam, the one and only apparatus she will perform on. And we'll continue to see whether anyone can take advantage of the mistakes of Rebecca Bross after the first rotation. Back to Dallas after this. The Visa Championships are here. On rotation, and Ivana Hong has taken advantage of the stumbles of Rebecca Bross. She now leads this Visa Championship in front for the national championship by two tenths over Bridget Sloan. We've got some special people here tonight and Andrea Joyce is with one of them. Hey Al, look who I found, Olympic gold medalist and Dancing with the Stars champion, Sean Johnson. You've been such a fixture at these huge competitions. What is it like for you to be standing here on the sidelines? It is, it's so weird being a spectator. I miss it so much, but I have a such a newfound respect for everybody knowing what they went through and how, how hard it is. So. You have a lot of teammates, former teammates from last year's Olympic team out competing you said that you have now any official retirement might we see you back out here soon um, it's definitely a possibility I miss it so much but it's just about timing and about where my heart is so trying to figure it out well you've been awfully busy I think in the last several months we've seen you Teen Choice Awards we've seen you at movie premieres all over the place how great is it to be Sean Johnson these days um, it's the best thing ever for me but it is stressful I just I can't wait for it to die down a little and I can kind of sort things out. Okay, well, we hope you see you back out here. Thank you. Back to you, Al. Okay, Andrea, it is tough to walk away, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It is, sure is. And actually, she won a gold medal on the event we're focusing on right now. And that's one of her teammates from Beijing, Samantha Pezik. Who now trains alongside another Olympian. Had a gym switch. Her coach, Peter Zhao, in Indianapolis, moved back to China, so she now trains alongside Bridget Sloan. She said, Marvin took me in, and the change was oh so easy. I remember when this was a nemesis for Samantha, and now she loves balance beam, she says. It really is start to finish, just jam-packed difficulty. <laughs> When we watched her in day one, Tim, you remember just the focus in her face, her eyes. She was so, so confident. It's one of the events that Samantha is hoping Marta Car Caroli will consider her for, for the upcoming World Championships, which is not only an all-around competition, but an individual event final as well. She can make that world championship team. She will not do the all around. She has a shoulder problem that prevents her from doing releases on the uneven bars. But I would say there's no question that she's very much in the running to be on that world team. Little smile there. It's amazing, you know, it, she looks so confident. Some athletes, they come away from an experience like the Olympic Games, and you can just see it. Fabulous. Just a small step. Fabulous routine. With our new coach, Marvin Sharp, and new teammate, teammate. <laughs> and Bridget Sloan, who's two tenths out of the national championship. That's right. So, another home game to come. A most special performance. Nasty Lucan told us earlier today that she's very nervous about this performance to come. We'll see what she looks like next on NBC. Championships continues now live from the American Airlines Center in Dallas. Our second look at Keitra Hunter, who coming in after the first rotation was in fourth place. Way behind over a point, but still fourth place. I can tell you Samantha Pezik on the balance beam had a tremendous smile of confidence moments ago. She had a 15.1 on the balance beam. Big power vaulter. 
for her. Just a little bit too much juice. You know, every time you, every time you land and move your feet, each time it's a, a specific deduction. And now just a few feet away is Nastia Lukin. It is no coincidence that after all the success of Carly Patterson and then Nastia that this event finds itself in Dallas. And this place is loaded with thousands of gymnastics, fan, gymnastics fans. And I got to tell you that uh, I think that she was as nervous as she's ever been mm -hmm. night one on balance beam. And, it, you know, because this is an event that, you know, if, if you are nervy, it shows up quickly. But in the games, she did three retreats that were just about as perfect as you can possibly do. And she didn't look nervous at all to me. Keitra Hunter got a 15.0 on the vault. Nastia told us today, and I don't think it's going away anytime soon, that she has 13,000 followers on her Twitter account. Crazy. Maybe it's now 20 that we mention it. Yeah, I think I've got four. <laughs> almost the identical balance beam routine that she performed in Beijing with the exception of the dismount of course not as difficult as what she did last year a little bit of a pause there she was supposed to keep both of those things moving and you know Tim those really are because of the lack of training and the numbers I mean you have to think about how many beam routines she did leading up to Beijing to make that routine as perfect as it was. Unfortunately, in the sport of gymnastics, there are rule changes constantly. And, you know, in the last quadrennium, we went from the perfect 10 to this system that no one could understand. And that system meant you counted 10 skills. Nowadays, you only count eight. Three of them have to be dance moves. She's a little nervous about this dismount. That is her national championship. I actually think she looked a lot better. It was much tonight. better. A, a lot more confident. She did have, you know, the, the small little balance check in between the two elements, but that looked like the competitor Nastia Lukin is. And now she'll resume what is her New role, assistant coach, helping Rebecca Bross get back into this. She's going to get back right on her. And you know, there were a couple of skills, like here Tim had mentioned, the connection. It's very important with this three-skill acrobatic skill combination that she connected a little bit quicker than that. And, of course, that's going to come with time. The more she does, the better that will get. Unfortunately, the judges will still take a little tenth or two off for that. Yeah, they never add bonus points. No. All they do is take away. And now Mackenzie Piquato from Naperville, Illinois. She's got some very famous coaches as well. Both Chinese Olympians and medalists, Li Yuejo and Johnny. Li Yuejo won a gold. Tremendous, tremendous athletes. She has injured her knee very a short while ago, and this is her second time doing this vault. And didn't water down, not at all. She was very tired in practice the other day, wasn't quite sure what she was going to do. Throws the double. Well, Lee Oijo told me that she had only 10 days of training in preparation for this. 
I like her. She's a great gymnast. Yeah, she's a face that we are going to see. She's one of those, one of those up and coming stars. A score that won't factor into anything as far as the national championship is concerned, but a 14.7, a little bit better for Nasia Lukin off her day one total of 14.45. So now she goes into support mode. This is the woman who has the lead. And that is Ivana Hung coming in after the first rotation, a lead of two tenths of a point over Bridget Sloan. So that's a step here and a step there, and all of a sudden your lead is gone. And this was a good event for Ivana on night one. She actually balanced beam with a 15.15. Strong here. She has the artistry. She has the acrobatic skills, a nice balance. She's beautiful here, like on the floor exercise. Well, now we're going to see how she handles prosperity. That's a bit of a skill, too, isn't it? When it something sure good is. goes your way, wh what's your response? Well, like we've said, she has the goods. You know, she's got everything. She's got enough power, certainly has the grace, has the body line. So the same sequence we saw from Nastia connected yeah, beautifully. Yeah, much better, much faster. Whoa. Yeah, and that's a break. She needed to hold her leg up in the horizontal position. get two scores that we'll see on the screen. One is for what you do in your balance beam routine. The second score is how well you do it. The execution score, she was one of only two gymnasts on the first night that scored over a 9.5. In a nine, in the nine range, I should say. Like the dismount here, two back hand springs into a double pike, very risky. Great job. Well, it's amazing that Valerie goes from Rebecca Bross, who's at one end of the emotional spectrum, and goes over to his other student, right. Ivana Hong, and deals with her situation. Yeah. Wow. A coach once told me that, you know what, gymnasts can have great days, but coaches never have great days because <laughs> they usually got four or five athletes out on the floor, and somebody inevitably has a problem. Okay, what's it going to be, kid? What's the response to a mistake like that? Beautiful mount sequence. She'll do three elements in a row. Same thing that we saw from Nastia. Right from going forwards, she keeps her body moving, and she'll go backwards, and then do a back layout. Yeah, that was incredibly Pretty close to picture perfect. Yeah. Very precise, very precise. And then her dismount, very difficult combination. Two back handspring skills, and then ends it all off with a double pike. Very difficult. Just a little bit of an issue there on the dismount, on the landing. Very interesting watching Valeri Luke and go from hugging Ivana Hong right up to get Bridge Rebecca set to go on the balance beam. And I don't know if either of you have anything to go by in terms of gauging how she is after mistakes like that. You haven't really seen it, have you? Well, not really, but Marta Caroli, the national team co coordinator, said her best quality is she's not freaking out. She deals with aches and pains. She deals with adversity. So we'll see if she's right. Yeah, she calls her one of the most dedicated athletes she has ever seen. Everybody seems to have something taped up. She actually injured that ankle, re-injured it at the CoverGirl Classic, the qualifying meet, 
on her dismount. 15.2 for Ivana Hung. That will serve her well. That's a little bit of an improvement from day one. Well, just like on the uneven bars, we said she she doesn't hold back. She does really tough stuff right from the get-go. And Nastia is right there for her teammate. Well, she'll do a little bit of a conservative mount, just stepping right on the beam, but then it's all out after this. Started so well, looked so confident, and then maybe just a little bit of doubt creeped in. Oh boy. Big, big deduction there. Still a couple of big skills. And the dismount coming up. This was what she had trouble with on the first night of competition. Had a really bad landing. Yeah, it was actually a scary landing. Marta thought that Valeri should stand up there. She, He said she'll be fine. She'll be fine. Whoa. Wow. Mm. That, that was actually very scary because she was extremely crooked on her round off, which was the setup skill for that dismount. She almost went off the mat. Yeah. She she did it great in warm-ups. But you know what? This is all new for sometimes sometimes you're great right out of the box and sometimes you take it takes a couple of times. So this was beautiful. Dead on. This was the beginning of the routine and she looked as confident, as crisp as you can in gymnastics. And then she Shoulders, al yeah. almost comes off here. Very big deduction. Showing a total lack of control. And of course, almost what? a carbon copy. You Whoa. can see her way off to the side. Jeez. She's lucky to get around. Yeah, that was... And you know, we watched her do quite a few of those dismounts and they were always so dead on. It's almost like a minor league baseball player coming up to the major leagues and seeing a first and then a second major league curveball <laughs> and saying, what was that? And eventually even the best have to find a way to hit it or not. I believe that, that she and Valeri are gonna figure this out. She's got the talent. Mm, no She's question. She's done it before, and he knows how to get her there. So what's the mission for the rest of tonight? Yeah, certainly at this point, with all the mistakes that she's had, not just he, night two, but day one as well, she, he is going to be looking for just consistent do-your-own-gymnastics. And they have given her the same exact score they did on day one, the judges, 14.7. However, she had a one-point deduction on her dismount that she didn't have here. Tonight on Universal Sports. Spent countless hours together at the Woga Gym in Plano. At this moment, there's nothing you can say to Rebecca, but Ivana Hong did her best to try. Meanwhile, back live in the American Airlines Center, it has sounded like Wimbledon for a while and a long wait for Bridget Sloan. She needs better than a 5.4 for the lead. Question is, is that a doable score here on the beam? Actually, it's not because she does not have a high enough start value. She conceivably, could, I think, 
her maximum score is 15.6. And actually on the first night of competition, Bridget fell on one of her dance skills that came up right here. Those were two skills that she was planning on combining. Didn't do that. And so what that means, there's a category called connection value, where she'll lose a tenth of a point. Just the dismount. <laughs> was a little bit cautious, but it was a nice routine. I I would say overall much better, once again, though, than night one. She just looks a lot more comfortable to me, obviously, with, with the fall, but just her comfort level and confidence. She seems so happy with it. It's almost as if the realization is hitting her, hey, I may be able to pull a national championship out of this. She's considered herself a favorite. Just take a look at how those feet find that four <laughs> inches combining these two elements and you know, they don't have to be exactly on but they got to be pretty darn close and of course the dismount finds herself standing right up you know so close to a stick don't so move close. those feet come on now the clock says we're halfway done, and we are. The tension builds midway through the four rotations. Bridget Sloan awaiting the judges' totals. Did she make a move on the lead of Ivana Hong or not? Mark Cavendish coming up. Standings. Ivana Hong has ballooned her lead to a half a point. Bridget Sloan received a 14.9, much improved on the balance beam after day one, but as Tim hinted, not nearly enough to get her where she needed to be. So she has two more rotations, two more events to try and catch Ivana Hong. Wow, that would be a, a big thing for her to win the Visa National Championship here in Texas. Let's go to Andrea. Andrea. All right, I am up here at the in-house radio broadcast position with one of the commentators, 2008 Olympian Alicia Sacramoni. You got to bring it date right after the Olympics you retired I did. and then now we hear you're unretired what made that decision for you so I'm coming out of retirement well slowly coming out of retirement I just had shoulder surgery in May I just feel like I have some unfinished business left I didn't end my gymnastics career on the high note that I wanted so I'm gonna go back and take it one day at a time right now and hopefully be competing sometime next year so that was the key motivating factor for you yeah definitely I mean the Olympics was a great experience but it wasn't the picture-perfect experience I was hoping for, so we'll see what happens in the next couple of years. As we are standing up here, I'm noticing that you have a great view, a bird's-eye view of what's going on at these uh, championships. Where do you see yourself fitting in when you look out at all of this talent? I think I'm definitely going to keep with the event specialists. I'm going to be to be with, and then maybe if my body heals up a little bit more, try to do some floor, but right now I'm just going to keep those two events and uh, see what happens with that. So how far away are you do you think from actually seriously competing I'm not sure I just started putting full body weight on my arms so we'll see I can do some stuff on beam like basic skills but getting vault back is gonna be a little bit more difficult than getting beam back make you a little hungry standing up here watching everybody your old teammates or scared <laughs> it makes me a little nervous actually getting back is gonna be pretty difficult but at the same time I love competing and that's what I live for 
Okay, what do you think of what Nastia's done so far, Sam? I mean, they look pretty good, right? My girls look good. I'm so proud of them. Well, they're your girls now. They're my girls. <laughs> All right. Good luck, and we hope to see you soon. Thank you. Back to you, Al. All right, Andrea. One of the last times I saw Alicia was getting on line at the airport in Beijing, and she actually said to the ticket agent, I have an Olympic medal. Can I get upgraded? And the agent <laughs> said, yes. This is our coverage in Texas will continue as we will determine who will be the 2009 Visa National Champion right here on NBC. We're watching every move, and the next woman that they will watch is Ivana Hung, who's leading by 0.5 after the second rotation. So she has two more apparatus, this, the floor, and then the vault. This would be the single greatest thing she's done on her own in gymnastics if she were able to hold on to this lead for the next two. She hits the next two routines. I don't think she can be caught. How's this event for her, Elfie? Well, it's fantastic. I mean, Ivana has, again, as I mentioned on balance beam, she has the balance of acrobatic skills and artistry and really truly is beautiful to watch on floor exercise. Excellent choreography. And remember the judges have capped the limit of how many tumbling passes they can do now. Only four, they're trying to encourage the dance. And Marta Caroli really, really wants to see how she seals the deal. Stayed in. Well, did she look like the national champion? Well, actually, she did not hurt her, her chances at all with that exercise. Brand new routine, everything so different at WOGA, including this routine. It was gorgeous. to Keitra Hunter, fourth after the second rotation. That's a very big deal for her to be fourth in this Visa National Championship. Well, certainly the uneven bars is not Keitra's strength. She is known for her vault and floor exercise, the power, the tumbling. But interestingly, in practice the other day, this was an event she struggled on in night one, and she was back in that gym doing many, many routines to improve for this. She has amazing eyes. Big skill, nicely done. 
Everything's about handstands, and that was not even close, the end of that pirouette. Judges are so critical. Right there, she finished a little bit late. Right there, she finished late. But for Keitra, that was a good uneven bar routine. This is, as Elfie said, it's not her strength. She's a vaulter, she's a tumbler, she's great on beam. Needs to get a little bit better on bars. Vana Hong had a five tenths cushion. I'll tell you what, the next day of training at the Woga Gym in Plano is going to be filled with some interesting conversation. They will have plenty to talk about. Ivana Hong at 14.0, so three tenths lower than she did in day one, and now it's up to Bridget Sloan to take advantage of what may be a little bit of an opening. What's going on in that head? Rebecca Bross, the leader, coming into today, and the mistake started in the first rotation, continued in the second, and now she's third, trying to hang on to the podium. And she's got a pretty nice cushion herself to do that. But that was not the expectation, just to be up there. No, it wasn't. I mean, I think everybody knew that the three gymnasts, Bross and Sloan and obviously Ivana Hung would all be in the top three. It's just what the order would be. I thought she'd be on top. I think women's gymnastics and the Little League World Series are the hardest things I've ever watched teenagers go through on a big major stage. This is harsh stuff. Well, that, that was actually a hit. She hit that routine. There are deductions. It's a new code of points. They are not allowed to take any steps after their landings of their tumbling passes. She she took a lot of them. But I'm, just I'm just talking about the experience of the entire night. Oh, certainly. Well, for her head, she needed that routine. I mean, she, she's thrilled. She said, I can do it. You sent some major relief over there in the world of Woga. One of them has survived the storm. Now let's see if one of them can win the national championship. The v Rebecca Bross, a 14.7 and some smiles there. A little relief after a couple of struggles early in the first two apparatus. Meanwhile, her gym mate has the lead for the national championship that everybody thought she was going to win. Now, Bridget Sloan needs better than a 14.5 to take the lead. She gets set to mount the floor. Doable. 
It's it, it's possible. Yes, it is possible. She actually starts at a 15.8. So if she can keep that deduction range, you know, one one point two, then you know she's right there. But what we have been seeing in on the women's floor exercises, those landings that we talked about, taking the steps, those are the deductions, and it's making it really, really difficult on the women today. It's not an easy thing to do. And you know, that, that is such a controversial rule. Most experts are very displeased. They, th they think it takes away the artistry. They, they think it makes it abrupt. And, yeah, uh, I think so. Yeah. I mean, it really does. It takes away a little bit of that artistry when you're finishing a tumbling pass. I think it's looking too much like the guys. What does that mean, Elfie? I just don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a reason they did it, though, because it's the only way that you can truly show that you have control, control perfect control. But you got to remember, and I think sometimes they forget, the name of the sport is not gymnastics. It's artistic gymnastics. Bingo. Yes, Tim, sometimes you wonder, do the people at the International Gymnastics Federation want a lot of gymnasts to look really great, or do they just want one or two to look really great? That's a very good question. Well, for Bridget Sloan, winning any competition is a big deal, but she said winning the national championship would be a really big deal. Wow, wow. She comes the closest to doing it the way the judges want to see them land those tumbling passes. This may be coming down to the final rotation. Yeah, I, the way they've been scoring, I, she is going to be with the doubt. She had. She did tremendous landings, especially that last one. A couple of them, she lost a tenth of a point. If you step, like I said, bigger than your shoulder width apart, that'll be three tenths of a point. But watch this. This is exactly what they want. They want boom Upright. and don't move. Don't move. She didn't. Well, as it is with Ivana Hong, Bridget Sloan has never done anything like this on her own. Yes, she's been a contributor for the silver medal in Beijing, but this is all on your lonesome for two days. <laughs> yeah, I really think this is going to get a big number. She was third day one. With a 14-3, and that was with an out of bounds. Yeah, and with nowhere near mm -hmm. the, the landing prowess that she just displayed there. <laughs> She's making the rounds. <laughs> 14 point five is the changing number. And Bridget Sloan has changed the order. 
a 15.05 that's just huge and much better than the 14.3 she got on day one well deserved and that execution score you have to remember her dance in the routine was really great it was crisp yeah you you don't see execution scores over 9.0 usually see them around 8.5 for pretty good routines so we have our third different leader today first it was rebecca bross then it was ivana hung and now it's bridget sloan and sloan's lead is 0.55 and you know what a swing looking forward they do the exact same vault same start value and they really kind of do it about the same way and now on the floor is Samantha Pejic. Once again, this is not about the all-around for her. It is about impressing Marta Caroli and punching a ticket to the 2009 World Championships in London. And the yellow flag goes up. So that means she will lose a tenth of a point for going out of bounds. Powerful gymnast. She had a lot of excess power on those landings. Plus she has all that Olympic experience in the bank. And so it comes down to the final rotation. Bridget Sloan wondering not whether she to represent the United States in London at the World Championships, but whether to go there as the U.S. national champion. Andy Schleck, after a pop chain, landed him in second. Major swing event. The lead went from Ivana Hong there in the purple to Bridget Sloan there in the maroon. And there is the standings. Sloan's lead is 0.55. We head to the vault and both Sloan and Hong, as Tim and Elfie talked about, will do exactly the same vault, meaning it's going to take a huge mistake by Bridget Sloan to not come away as the national champion. One apparatus in the books and that's all there was for Nastia, who is with Andrea Joyce. All right, well, the glare of the hometown spotlight on Nastia Lukin is almost blinding. You said you were terrified night one, but what about today? A little bit better? Uh, a little bit, but I mean, I think there's even more people here tonight. But I had so much fun out there um, performing for my hometown and just being here. But I know I didn't have my best performance, but, uh, you know, you got to start somewhere. And I'm on the track to Worlds um, later this year. So You had a second job here tonight, a little bit of an assistant coach. What have you been telling Rebecca to help her get back on track? Um, well, this is her first senior nationals, you know, so I just thinking back to mine in 2005 and, um, you know, it's just a whole new world out there knowing that you're going to represent your country at huge competitions. So just basically to stay calm and stay focused. Can you believe it? One year ago tonight, exactly, you won the Olympic all-around gold. I mean, can you believe it's been a year? Absolutely not. Um, I mean, it seems like it's gone by so fast, but at the same time, I've done so much and, you know, this whole year that it's been an amazing year. And Are you a little surprised that you're here? Would you have thought that you would have been here? A little 
little bit. I am. Um, you know, I, I really wasn't sure after the Olympics what I was going to do, but I'm proud to say that I am here and I'm competing again, and it's just what I have a passion for, and I love it. We got a lot of people here who are happy you're back. Thank you very all much. All right. Back to you, Al. Okay, Andrea, it has to be almost overwhelming after all the excitement and the gold medal celebrations. That first time you go back in the gym after that, wow, it takes so much to rededicate yourself. This could be the night of nights for Pittsburgh. No matter what the event, the best drama comes when it comes down to the final at bat, the last inning, the last pitch, the last event. In this case, it is the vault. Back live in Dallas, Ivana Hong had the lead for a rotation and then it flipped on her in floor exercise when Bridget Sloan really came through for herself. And now Bridget, who's just feet away, has a lead of .55. So Ivana has the opportunity to put a little bit of pressure on. She's obviously got to land this vault in the, in the general warm-up before the competition began. She actually had some problems with this, but just moments ago, it looked like a walk in the park for her. If you compared the two vaults from the first night of competition, Bridget had the edge. She was better. And this guy, Valerie Lucan, can't lose. Yeah, <laughs> His daughter wins the Olympic all-around gold medal. At the next national championships, she's a superstar in the building in a hometown game. And Rebecca Bross stumbles. And who's there? Yet another one of his pupils, Ivana Hong. Well, she did a great job today. <laughs> oh, put the pressure on. Can she do it much better than that? Not really. No, she she just landed with a, a slight stagger step, but that was fantastic. Good job. <laughs> She lives in Lovejoy, Texas, <laughs> and there's a lot of both right now. Big smile for Bridget Sloan, but she knows she's got to do oh. like this. Her yeah. coach, Valeri Lukin, has been all that she wanted him to be for her, especially on this vault, teaching her how to be just perfect and to stick landings. Right on that 50-yard line. Beautiful form in the air. That's what sets her apart. Excellent. Great dead, job. Dead center. And a 15.25. Remember, Bridget Sloan had a .55 cushion, so there's room for some error. She scored. Rebecca Sloan scored a 14.9 the first night, which was the top score for day one. Next up, Rebecca Bross. She'll never forget what happened tonight, will she? No, absolutely not. But I tell you, if she can just put this to her feet, that means two really solid exercises in a row. Because, you know, we're, we're, we're going to be seeing this young lady. There is no two ways about it. And I would be shocked if she doesn't end up making that team to London. She's, she's, she's a keeper for sure. She's going to finish on the podium here. She'll be right up there. Right now in the third spot. And she'll be performing the same vault that we just saw from Ivana Hong. Same vault we'll be seeing from Bridget Sloan. compete all week. Well, that should be inspiring for Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> 
So great power down the runway. And the whole deal, though, is when your hands touch the table, you have got to explode right there. She does. Good form in the air. Land staggered, but those feet, they do not move. And Bross with a 9.5 in execution gets a total of 15.3. So not the night she wanted, but the way she finished was very impressive. <laughs> Bridget Sloan's moment will come. Sloan needs better than a 14.7 to win this Visa National Championship. Night scored a 14.9, and that night, that was the best score awarded to anybody on vaulting. And she's well, starting to feel it now. I'm looking over her resume, and I'm seeing a first in the all-around at something called the U.S. Classic, but this is oh. in, in another planetary system event. Well, we talked to her about titles that young gymnasts want to win, the American Cup, the National Championship, and she said, okay, guys, okay, thanks. I'm 0 for 2 on those. So this means everything to her. She said the Olympic Games, if it did one thing, it inspired her to keep going. She said it was just, just the beginning. starting to take her deep breaths. You can feel it building for her. And just imagine what it would be like to walk into the Olympic arena in, in the O2 arena, the site of the Olympics in 2012, and be introduced as the national champion of the United States. Well, you got to remember that this young lady walked out in the Olympic team finals a little more than a year ago and was first up on vault for Team USA and with as much pressure as you can ever have, she delivered. So she can get the job done. Yeah, it's really amazing when you think about it. Her contribution to that silver medal for as significant as it was, was seconds long. Yes. Just a few seconds, that's it. And those same few seconds right now can make it happen for her. Well, she's looking pretty relaxed. And I have to tell you though, uh, the way she's capable of doing this vault, it, it actually, she has a little bit more power. She's a little quicker, gets a little higher. A little cleaner. Than either Ivana or, or Rebecca Bras. It's all gonna come down to the landing. She lands on her feet. She's good as gold. This one puts you on a long list of American greats. Now, re remember, first year of the Quadrennium 2005, that lady right there, Nastia Lukin, she won this title, became a national champion, held on for four years for Olympic gold. Okay, Bridget Sloan, it's yours. Go get it. That should do it. That should definitely do it. No joy yet. Not until she sees that number. We have to start getting the heart rate on some of these <laughs> kids. <laughs> And you are looking at the 2009 Visa National Champion. I don't think she knows it yet. I don't think they have posted it yet. But Bridget Sloan gets a 15.0. And there it goes up, yeah. Thank you. Good job. 
She knows now. Well, a lot of people come out of this looking very good. They do. Valeri comes out looking great, like Vince Lombardi. Rebecca Bross shook off the bad start. Ivana Hong, when she needed to put the pressure on Bridget Sloan, did. And when Bridget Sloan needed to be just good enough, she did. And there is just one more performer to go on the balance beam. And it will be our second look at Mackenzie Coquato. What's on the line here for Mackenzie? Is she one well, of those maybes for the world? Yes, yeah, she is. And, you know, remember she's coming off of an injury that happened only 10 days. She's only had 10 days of training. Um, but she is one of the kids you're going to be looking at, not just in 2009, but I think all the way through to 2012. She has wonderful lines. She's a complete athlete has the artistry she has the difficult skills and she has some really cool stuff on balance beam it was actually a question as to whether she would even compete at all coming into this competition she gets, uh, Tim, some of her artistic flair from her background. Started as a rhythmic gymnast, which is really interesting. Most of the times you see the artistic gymnast move into the rhythmic arena, but she started as a rhythmic gymnast and was also an artistic gymnast, continued both until she was a level eight gymnast, and then made the decision to just solely focus on artistic gymnastics. One of the hardest things in gymnastics is to wait around like this, I'll tell you. Coaches make their gymnasts practice this, though. They tell them to get ready. They say, you're going to go, and then they say, stop, you know, and just they walk around the gym, maybe go get a drink in the locker room, back up, and say, okay, you can go now. One of her first tests will be this combination right here. It's very popular on balance beam today. We've already seen this from many of the athletes. Now you wonder why you see that skill done so much. It's because you have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to do it and you have to do it well <laughs> and with control and she does. Too bad, too bad. You know, and, and I, don't, I don't really think that she was off to the side on that at all. I think that... Watch she, that. Oh, it's beautiful little roll she does there, but I think she was just a little bit under-rotated and didn't make a quick enough transition. Tell you what, you give Mackenzie a little bit more time to get herself back on track, to heal up. You'll see a different athlete the next time out. Pretty good. <laughs> um. Well, that is going to do it for Bridget Sloan, and this one should take up many pages in Bridget Sloan's diary. When we come back, she'll have a conversation with Andrea Joyce, but she will remember forever what happened here in Dallas, Texas tonight. The Visa Champ. The 2009 Visa Championships are complete. A three-tenths of a point, Bridget Sloan wins the most significant individual championship she has ever won, and this national championship goes beautifully along with her Olympic team silver medal, Rebecca Bross, finished in third. And as you can see, the national champion is with Andrea Joyce. 
All right, Al, maybe we should call her the comeback kid tonight. You've told us that you really don't like to think about winning titles, but now that you have your first national championship, can you tell us what this moment is like for you? Um, it's great. I mean, coming into competition, you know, all you want to do is hit four for four. And, you know, the first day I did have a fall on beam, so when I came in today, I knew what my focus was and what I had to do. I guess so all I wanted to do was get my routines, which I did, so I'm really happy with the well, outcome. Take me back now to this final rotation. Did you know how close it was? Did you watch Ivana's vault? Um, I did watch her vault, and as she lit, I was like, wow, that was really good. But um, I also knew that... Are you feeling pressure? I was, but at the same time, I mean, as you said, I don't like to think about winning, so I was just wanting to do my best ball, and um, I just went out there and gave it my all, and the outcome was great for me. So you have your sights next on making the world team. Yes. What does this tell you about where you are, maybe more mentally than physically, how you competed here? Um, you know, as Marta told me, this is just the first stepping stone to my path, so the first stepping stone went well, so hopefully the next two camps that I have to go to, the world selection camps will go just as well as today. All right, congratulations. Thank you. Back to you, Al. Well, we got a huge rating in Plano, Texas tonight. I know that. We didn't do so bad in Pittsburgh, Indiana as well. What did Bridget Sloan show you, Tim, in the way she came through and won this national championship? Well, she showed guts. You know, she came in after night one in third position, and she knew the two people that were ahead of her, uh, they were some tough competitors as well. She really did a solid for herself tonight. And, you know, I mean, she's going to have this title for the rest of her life. And you see Ivana Hong right there listening to uh, Bridget answer all the questions. And, you know, Elfie, if you look back, I mean, it's been a very rare event to have in a four-rotation event like this Visa Championship, three different leaders in one night. Yeah, pretty incredible. I can't remember the last time we saw so many going for a national title. But, you know, I have to mention for Ivana Hong, uh, what an incredible night for her. She needed some uh, a little injection into her her career and this was a gal who almost quit the sport of gymnastics but you know she has a great technical coach in Valeri Lukin that is who she needed for her newfound uh, confidence in gymnastics and good for her it's nice to see her back next up for Marta Caroli and company the selection of who will represent the United States in London at those world championships can you get a feel for what kind of team this U.S. team will be because you know they've been on a roll since the disappointment in Sydney nine years ago. Well, I would say that the the top three here certainly should be part of that team. Rebecca Bross, yes, she struggled here, but she really showed a lot of guts last two events, coming back and hitting them very strong. She is a tremendous, tremendous athlete. Really, if she was successful on eight routines throughout this championships, I think she'd have won it all. What do you think the team's going to be like, Elfie? Well, definitely with Bridget Sloan going in as the national champion, I mean, this is a young lady who is going to walk out onto that floor and say anything is possible. She now has credentials as an Olympian. She has the national championship title. She's got Rebecca Bross and Ivana Hong. Talent, talent, and more talent going to London. Congratulations to Jonathan Horton, who won the men's championship last night, and to Bridget Sloan, who wins the women's championship tonight. That was a huge door that opened as this competition began. This is Al Trowick for Tim Daggett, Elfie Schlegel, Andrea Joyce. Thanks for joining us for the 2009 Visa Championship.